strap is unsafe, I'm kind of hanging out relaxing. So when we say we get to the low ready and you're sitting there like this, you're wrong. We don't walk through the woods like this, we don't walk down the street like this, we're kind of a little bit more relaxed, okay? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Sweet. You're gonna punch the gun out, because you're clearing your kit and then sucking it in. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we're, we're down, we're not just spring it up because then I'm gonna catch all my gear. I'm gonna punch it out and bring it in, all right? Doesn't have to be super exaggerated, but you need to be able to clear your kit and get it in. Does that make sense to everybody? So low ready and then up. Any questions on that one? Super simple, right? All right, next is gonna be depressed muzzle. So depressed muzzle is, I've already been shot at or I'm going in a room during CQB and I'm expecting to shoot my weapon, all right? So what depressed muzzle is, is I'm not looking through my sights, I'm looking over my sights. And the way we check that, if we tell you to do a chin check, we want you to do this. A chin check is I can do this and I'm not hitting my buttstock. If I do chin check and I'm hitting my buttstock, my weapon's too high. All right, so that's how you can check if you're at proper depressed muzzle. So my gun is kind of pointed, not really at a 45, but down at the ground in front of me. I'm looking over my sights, and what this does is just shortens my reaction time. So I'm at depressed muzzle, and we get the call up. I'm just coming up, all right? You don't want to be doing this. Bringing the gun up, and then your eyes down. Ideally, when the weapon comes up, the sights are in line with your eyes. Does that make sense to everybody? So I'm just looking through my sight. My head isn't really dropping. All right. If we do this and we're trying to look over the, through the top of our eyes through the optics, you're going to fatigue your eyes a lot sooner. All right. So again, depressed muzzle with a chin check. I'm ready to go. I'm looking over my sights and then up. I'm looking through. Great. All right. Next is going to be the high ready. So low, uh, low ready and depressed muzzle. You can keep your gun traditionally slung like this with one arm through. For high ready, I recommend swimming out of your sling. So if we try to do the high ready, it's really tight, it's hard to maneuver, but if I swim out, I can move my gun all over the place. All right, so high ready is a, it has a place. I use it in stairwells when we cover CQB, you'll see why. Because if I'm in the back of a stack and then I need to start shooting up the stairs, my gun's already up. That's kind of when I use high ready, so that's my place for it. Uh, some guys run it in the house all the time. It is what it is. All right, so, Few, few key things. My gun is pretty vertical. I don't want my gun super low like this. All right, I'm looking over my mag. I do have a little bit loss of peripheral vision right here on my right side, but I can still turn my head. It's not over here where I can't see or turn my head, I'm gonna hit my helmet. So it's kind of at an angle out in front of me, but it's not super low. It's not a super aggressive angle. I'm kind of up and like this, all right? When we come out, it's gonna kind of be like the low ready where I'm gonna clear my kit. I'm gonna come down. I'm punching out and then pulling it in, putting it on fire, all right? So again, looking like that, I'm at my uh, high ready. You're gonna have two hands on the weapon. On the up, any questions?